Hey you guys, so for today's video I am going to be showing you guys all of my favorites that I've had for the month of November and honestly just kind of my favorites in general lately. It's been a while since I've done one of these favorites videos and I don't know, I have a lot of stuff here, uh, not just in November but the past few months that I would like to share with you guys. So if you guys want to see my favorites video then just keep on watching. Alright, I'm going to start with palettes because there have been a lot of really good ones coming out, you guys. I'll start with the more affordable ones. The first one I'm going to talk about is the So Jaded palette from ColourPop and Kathleen Lights. You guys, the colors, the beauty. I actually did a review on this palette. If you guys want to go ahead and check that out, I'll leave it listed up here. But oh my god, I freaking love it obviously it's in my favorites video these shadows are so blendable they're so creamy they're so buttery they're so beautiful and they are so freaking affordable i love ColourPop shadows for that reason and kathleen lice just did such an amazing job with this the colors are perfection next eyeshadow palette i'm about to talk about is the hip.x spongebob collaboration I freaking love this eyeshadow palette, you guys. This mirror is incredible. The detailing is beautiful. Again, I also have a review on this as well. If you guys want to go ahead and check that out, I'll have that listed up here as well. Long story short, you guys, I freaking love this. I think it's incredible. I love hip dot shadows. I think that they are so blendable. They're so pigmented. They're so buttery. They're just, oh, I freaking love them. And they are also a much more affordable brand. I honestly thought this was going to be a gimmick. I truly did. I really didn't know a lot about the brand going in. I had just heard that there was a spongebob collaboration i was all in and out of everything this was definitely my favorite i love this palette you guys i'm a huge spongebob nerd so had to include it all right now on to tricere palettes just a little bit the next one we're going to talk about is the pure cosmetics festival palette you guys pure eyeshadows i don't know why more people don't talk about them because their eyeshadows are freaking incredible especially their glittery or shimmery ones holy shit. when i say pigmented like these are pigmented like they stand out on your eyes they are freaking gorgeous i have been using this palette like crazy lately their mattes are just so freaking blendable oh i didn't realize but this palette actually smells nice kind of almost like chocolate is that a normal thing with them i did not know that again i love this palette so much you guys i think it's incredible i think pure cosmetics honestly really needs to get more of a shout out because their stuff is bomb. The next palette I'm going to be talking about is the Boss Babe Betty palette from Buxom. Buxom actually sent this to me along with a few other items in a PR box recently. And you guys, don't get me wrong. This is a palette where you can obviously find a lot of palettes that look like this. But you guys, I am a sucker for a warm, smoky eye and this palette does it for me. The quality is there. The eyeshadows are just fantastic. Their mattes are so freaking blendable. They're also extremely pigmented. I freaking love this. I didn't know that Buxom made bomb ass eyeshadows and now I know. Again, this is another one to check out maybe for like a gift for somebody, especially someone who's maybe like even starting out in makeup. I think this would be a lot of fun for them. There's a great selection in here. There's a lot of shimmers and these colors aren't too scary to dive into. So I think this would be great for someone starting out. The last palette I have to talk about is the palette that is actually on my eyes right now and yes i have only used this once but you know what god damn it i'm gonna include it in here because it's so freaking bomb it is the jeffree star and shane dawson conspiracy palette you guys it's got clasps that's fucking bomb look at these shadows they're freaking gorgeous i am actually doing a review on this as well that is going to be posted soon i don't know if i'm going to have this video up or that video up first i'm not sure but you guys will see how i feel about it in there as well if you guys want i'll go ahead and leave it listed up here i love shane so much you guys i've been watching him since i was 11 years old i have stuck with him through his good times and his bad times and he is someone that has a very special place in my heart so i had to go and include this in here and not just that but the palette itself is actually amazing it is incredible i will say the design on here too is just so different and so fun i can't believe andrew just like came up with this on photoshop because it's such a smart idea and it just looks incredible so yeah i was incredibly proud of shane i love shane i don't know him personally but if i did i'm sure i'd still love him all right digging into makeup i got a few lips here that i'm going to talk about so starting with lipsticks like i said before buxom sent me a pr package recently and i had never tried buxom lipsticks before and you guys their lipsticks 
are so freaking bomb. They have such a nice, creamy, smooth finish on the lips. They look flawless. They actually have a tingling sensation too, like mint. Not like painful, but it's like a minty sensation. And so I love them for this. And their colors here, uh, of course these are all pretty neutral colors, but oh my gosh, I love them so much, you guys. These are probably my new favorite lipsticks now. Not gonna lie. I gotta speed this up because my camera's about to die. So if you guys hear me talking fast, that is why. Still into lips, I'm gonna talk about two glosses that I have been loving lately. One is the Dominique Cosmetics lip gloss in the shade Strawberry Lemonade. Oh my God, you guys, this gloss is so freaking good. Actually, I'm gonna apply some right now. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, I love these. They're so freaking good. They just make your lips look so plump and juicy and I love the feel of them. They're not sticky at all. They feel more like an oil than anything and I love glosses like that. They are my all-time favorite glosses and this one I just wanted to give a huge shout out to. I have been using it non-stop like all summer. This is literally the gloss I've been putting in my purse. For everyday use. The next gloss I'm going to talk about, I have the little mini. It is the Buxom Lip Gloss in the shade Dolly. I freaking love this color. I think it's so pretty. It's like a perfect mauve -y pink, but it's a little more pink than mauve. It's got like a hint of mauve in it, but it's such a perfect everyday gloss. It's like a your lips but better gloss. If you guys watch my channel, you guys know Buxom Lip Glosses are my favorite lip glosses of all time. They have an amazing minty feel to them, and this one is no different. They're so shiny. They make your lips look so plump and juicy, which I love. And with this color, I've been dying over it lately. I am shocked. No one on YouTube has mentioned this color. I just kind of saw it at Ulta and I decided to grab it. This is the Morphe Liquid Lipstick in the shade Peanut. You guys, I am obsessed with this color. This color is incredible. It's so freaking beautiful. It's like the perfect brownish ready nude Oh my god, I love it so much, you guys. On the lips, it looks incredible. And this is a lip color I feel like would look so good on so many different skin tones. I just freaking adore it. And I really love their lip formula as well. I feel like this does not budge and it doesn't make my lips feel super drying. And it's affordable, so just thought I'd throw that out there. Freaking love this color. I've been all about it recently. The next product I'm going to talk about, I hated this product when I first used it. Like, you guys don't understand. I freaking loathe, loathe loathed this product when I first used it. I just did not like it. I feel like too much product came out. But now, since I figured out how to use it, I'm obsessed. This is the Anastasia Brow Gel, and this one is in the shade Dark Brown. I freaking love this, you guys. This is amazing. I love the spoolie on this. However, the way I use this, I literally get rid of the majority of the product. I just put it over the edge here and once I've gotten rid of most of the product it gives me the application I want and this is a product I feel like I can just do this I don't have to do anything else to my brows and then I'm out the door like that's it this is all I need I love products like this for when I'm in a rush and just got to go somewhere and I still need my brows to look snatched I have been using this and I love it the last makeup product I'm about to talk about is the covergirl lash blast volume mascara I recently went back into covergirl because covergirl is now currently cruelty free which I am so excited about this mascara is a great mascara for days where you don't want that extremely dramatic looking lash. This is like a your lashes but better mascara. It just makes your lashes look so lengthy and healthy if that makes sense and that's something I really love about this for like a day-to-day -day mascara. This has been my go-to. A scent I've been obsessed with is the Victor and Ralph Bon Bon perfume. Holy shit you guys. It's such a warm sexy sweet scent and I have been rocking this lately. This has been my favorite perfume. I love their scents. I feel like this lasts on me all day and this is the one I've been carrying in my purse like nonstop. This is the Natural Aqua Gel Cure. You guys, this is incredible. When I say I get dry skin in the winter time, I get dry skin in the winter time. It's ridiculous. This gel, I put it all over my face and you're supposed to keep kind of rubbing this in your face for probably about a minute until you start to feel dead skin going on your fingers. And you guys, this is incredible. I haven't even been using exfoliator lately. I've just been doing this. There is no pain. You don't feel like you're rubbing anything rough on your face. You're just rubbing a gel all over your face and any dead skin you have, it's been taking it off. They actually sent me that, which was so nice of them. And I've been using it nonstop. I don't just use this on my face. I've also been using this anywhere else I'm dry, like my elbows or anywhere on my body too that's just super dry. I've been using this and it works out 
fabulously. The last product I'm going to talk about is the Emma Beauty Sugar Scrub. This one is in Jasmine Vanilla. First off, it smells incredible. I have been using this so much lately. I they literally just sent me this and I only have this much left. Me and my aunt have been going ham on this and I love this because it's not just a scrub, it also has oils in it. So afterwards it makes your skin feel so soft and I don't feel like I have to put on lotion after this, which is something I absolutely love. This is a really cool brand. They've been sending me stuff recently and they also have incredible nail polishes if you guys want to check them out, but I really love their skin stuff so far. I think it's been great and this has been my favorite from them. And that is it you guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video please like and subscribe if you guys haven't already and have a great rest of your night or day wherever you guys may be i will see you guys in my next video bye you guys